Have you ever really just wanted something that you thought was going to be awesome and then when you got it you were almost scared to use it? Well, I've been wanting a good router lift for years. I have dealt with buying those cheap router plates and mounted those in my table and you're having to reach up underneath the table to try to adjust the router. I even got the rigid one that had the little T-handle that went through the top of the table. But I finally decided, you know what, I'm going to spend the money and get me a good router lift. And I was just about to purchase it, and then I found this one from old school. And I contacted him. I said, you know, this was not very much more than what a regular router plate was going to be, except for this thing has some awesome functionalities. I was almost intimidated, uh, didn't, you know, was hesitant. I've had this thing sitting here for a while. And then I finally got out here and went to install it. And man, it took like five minutes. This, the, as long as you cut out the hole, the mountain process of this is so simple. I'm going to show you how it is. It works just fantastic. I can't believe if I had known that this was going to be this great, I would have definitely bought this years ago. So let me show you what I found. So this is what you get in the box. It's pretty simple. You've got the lift assembly, you got a power supply, you've got a little brain box, and you got a controller. So I was kind of thinking this was going to be a little intimidating, but all you have to do is plug this wire into here and then plug the machine in and it's good to go. Oh, and you got to plug the power in there. So what I did find though, and I'm going to recommend, I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. So I just plugged the lift in. And then according to the instructions, you have to actuate the motor or what do they call it, uh, initiate. So basically just hit and press the reset button and hold it. And then what's going to happen is this is going to go all the way up. It's upside down, so it's going down. And then it's going to come all the way back up the other way. And then it's going to register in here where it's at. And you only have to do this one time. But the reason why I wanted to do it in the beginning before I put the motor in, that way I know exactly where I want to put my spindle at. So as soon as this gets finished uh, spinning up, we're going to mount the motor in and flip this over, stick it in the table. And we're basically done. It's that freaking simple. I, I can't believe how easy this thing goes in, goes together. I will say, whenever I uh, first put this in, this little washer came off on the screws. So you might want to go ahead and just double check all your screws and make sure that they're good and tight. And then once I tighten them down, they were all good to go. All right, so now this went all the way down, came all the way back up, so it knows where it's at, and it's showing on our display that it's at the zero position. So this has three inches of movement, and if you hit this arrow up, it takes it all the way. This is as high as it will go. So we're gonna bring this all the way up, and that way I can set my router to where I can get to my bit and replace my bit you know, above the table, but then I don't have it sticking out too far. That way I get the most travel that I can for, you know, my bit. Okay, now you see we're at three inches. So what I'm going to do here is I ended up putting my wire away from, you know, the uh, other mechanism. And you're going to slide this in here. And now they've got this little thumb screw here which we can actually unplug this now because we know where we're at and then what I'm going to do is I want to make sure that my router is coming up through the table to where I can get to this one has the button on the side of it so I want to make sure that I can reach that button and be able to unlock my collet. Also, you know, you just have to be aware that when this comes up, the only bad thing that I have noticed is that there's not a uh, stop if you have your insert plate in here 
that it's just going to keep on going. But, you know, we'll cross that bridge when we get there, but hopefully I don't ever forget it. So right now I can get to my button to hold this. I can get a wrench on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and just tighten up this little hand screw. Now all that little finger screw does is hold this in nice and snug until I can, you know, put a wrench on here and tighten up these four bolts. Now these four bolts are, there's a plate in here that snugs up and these are what actually holds the router in. That is just a extra little convenience that they put in so that you're not fumbling with the router trying to slide it up and down and hold it in place while you're tightening these up. Now, you know, with anything you always want to, I just barely snug it up and then I come back easily and keep kind of, because as you tighten one up, it kind of tightens the other one up. That way I can kind of get it nice and uh, even. That, you know, don't want to get the uh, router off. And I mean, I'm not even turning these things an eighth of a turn. I'm just barely getting them into where they're all good and snug. And that is pretty much it. So I am going to put my wire into my table here. I probably should have set this up a little different, but I've got this wire here coming out the front. And then this is gonna go down. And then I have to just remember to get this wire here out the front. Now you've got four holes here for bolts, and then you've got you know three on this side and two on the ends of leveling plates. So we're gonna slide those in and get this all bolted down. All right, once you set your uh, router plate in your top, you're going to Tighten up these little screws here and these silver ones, what these are are like cam locks. So this one's going to push the router plate this way and these two are going to push it that way to make sure it's nice and tight in our frame. And then you have your Allen screws here, which will bring it up flush and then you can just take your straight edge and see like, okay, it barely hits right there. It's good right there. So this one needs to come down. Don't, um, it's kind of a combination though, cause uh, you know, I've screwed that down and see, I don't know if you can hear that. It just almost can, is pretty much perfect. See, see now, so it's, you know, you use these here, which, because I already have this set and they can, you know, help bring this up and then you really want to have it just a hair high so that when you tighten these corner bolts down that brings it up to our perfect height okay so now all we have to do is mount this little box make sure a little wire don't slip out here so that wire is going to connect this little plug right here so we need this uh, little box right here to be about right up in here. Let me get a screw and we'll mount that in real quick. So we've got our mount there. Now this has a hole for a screw, but it's also got magnets built into it. So I just put this little bracket here and then I made up this little 3D printed box. It's just got the PowerTech little switches. Um, and I put this on this switch and then my router is gonna be on this switch and that way I can power on my lift without having to um, turn on my router. So I just made these little boxes and then I've got little electrical plugs on the back. So I will plug that in here. 
And then our little power adapter, it goes right there. And then we're going to power it up, plug that one into the back of this box. So now all I have to do is go back in and uh, neaten my wires up here. We're just going to chuck them back here for the time being. And I will get those attached back up. But here now we can push our power button and you see we are good to go. Now, I like my controls here out of the way, but then this is really handy that whenever I'm up here working, I can move my control up where I can see it, get my bits adjusted and then set it back down here out of the way. I really like that feature. So like I do a lot of rails and styles, here's just a couple of scrap boards to kind of show you how the work process would go. So we just rotate this here and this will take us down. All right, so I may be uh, want to go down. Uh, let's try about an inch. So I go ahead, rotate the uh, number to about where I think it's going to be and then I hit to press in. So now our bits are going to come down. I'm going to go ahead and drop in a um, little plate here. Tighten that in. All right, so I need to go down some more. Let's see, I always get this backwards. All right, so we're getting close. We're in. So now this is telling me how far I'm going down. So this will be, say, another quarter inch. And if you noticed, the screen was just flashing because I didn't push this all the way down. And then um, because I didn't push it all the way down, if you enter in a number, okay, let's say minus 32, but if I don't press it after a few seconds, it starts flashing, letting you know that you haven't pressed it. So I press it and then it comes down. Now this has millimeters, or this is inch in decimal form, millimeters are inch and fractions. So let me go ahead and cut this real quick. Okay, so this is where I'm at. So I'm actually going to hit the zero button here. So that's going to zero me out at this height. Then I'm going to bring the thing up. Now you always have to remember, you have to remove this little plate before you bring it up. And that's the one thing that I am somewhat concerned with that I'm going to forget. But we're going to bring this up. Once it gets all the way up, I will change out my bit here. We're going to drop in our new bit. And then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to hit my zero button and that's going to take me back to where I was
All right, so this bit is obviously shorter. All right, so I'm looking at this. I'm about a quarter inch or so low. So I'm going to rotate this to a quarter. Bring that up. See where we're at. Okay, I'm getting close. So I can go ahead now and hit my micro button. Now you see the little light is up here. So now I got 64. So I can just, nope, not quite. Another 64. Okay. And now I am perfectly in the center, ready to cut my next board. Now, if you don't want to do fractions again, we go into inches. Uh, in our regular, say so as you said, it's three, so we're going ten thousandths, twenty thousandths. But if we hit our micro button, we're going to go five thousandths, ten thousandths. So it's either five thousandths on your micro or it is ten thousandths. And then if you're in the millimeters and we're on micro, you're going 0.1 millimeter um, or we can go 0.5 millimeters. So it's either a half a millimeter or a tenth of a millimeter. So other than that, I don't really know what other that I can say that, but this thing is just absolutely awesome. So if there's something that you would like to see about this that I didn't point out, be sure and put it in the comments, subscribe to the videos. I certainly appreciate it. And until next time, I look forward to seeing you.